take us on this journey. Amen. You know, I, I was trying not to get full, but I, I got to tell y'all a little story. You know, what? I left away from here, I left with a damaged reputation. And so I was sitting there and God was showing me something. He said, remember your mother and your grandfather and, and your great-great-grandfather? Did some of them said anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even come to church with them. Come on. Who? Oh, no, I was too busy getting high. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. So I was sitting down and God took me and I almost broke down. I said, God, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Come on. I know I was down here, but thank you. Thank you for saving me. Because all her words, all her prayers came to me. Am I perfect? No. Is any other perfect? No. No. But but I, I'm coming to you because revival. We had revival all week. So God said, yeah. I want you to teach them to return to their first love. Some of you have forgotten because of life. Oh, yeah. come on, somebody. I'm going to say life. Yeah. Life. Yeah. life. Life. The trials of life have been yeah. selling you so down. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it down sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and truth be told, All right. you get mad at God. Yeah. God. I'm serving you. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking to a church. Have you ever served God with all your heart and let things happen? I'm talking about your daughter on drugs. Your husband ain't acting right. Your son ain't acting right. And you look up and you say, God, why me? But God told me to tell you, come back to your first love. Remember Job? Nobody right. remember Job? Job was a righteous man. And yet God, as a matter of fact, you just got to understand, we are still living in the times of this Bible. You have a known enemy that will, God will allow like testing. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on. Somebody, come on. Test that you ain't never thought to hit you to the core of your spirit. Woo. Come on, somebody. When those tests come, you don't know what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, or why you're going to do it. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's come on, come on. But I know one thing. When you call on the name of Jesus. Come on. Yeah. When you call on the name of Jesus. I don't care. Yeah. 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 The first time I really heard him, I was high. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why we shouldn't judge one another. Because God can call anybody from anywhere. Because they see the 
spirit. Uh huh. You, 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 we have a spiritual war. Yeah, Come yeah. on, somebody. Yeah, so yeah. Knows what you're doing, how you're doing, and he'll, he'll, he'll let everybody else know too. You don't want yeah. to don't understand. Yeah. Uh huh. Come back to your first love. Yeah. All right. Your first ministry is your family. Mm -hmm. Some of you are so mean to your own family, but getting come in here and want to love on sister so and so and brother so and so. Are you serious? And then you wonder why the kids don't love each other and yeah. they're so angry and want to pack guns. Yeah, yeah. Because you have not taught them to how to communicate effectively. All right. Because you're cursing and stuff, but in church you want to act like you all oh, holy. Yeah. yeah. Come on, somebody. It's time to, just like he was singing earlier in Bible study, it's time to live it. If you yeah. preach it, live it. Live if you don't say you are Christian, then live it. Oh, yeah. come on, somebody. Because who makes me this? I don't know who's watching me for real. Yeah. For real. Now, that's and, true. And truth be told, these oh. are perilous times. We need yes. each other. Okay. Yeah. So I'm supposed to speak life to you. How yeah. you doing this? Come on, somebody. Come on. I'm supposed to encourage you. Yeah. I'm supposed to thank you when you die. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. It's time for the church to get back on fire. Yeah. Remember your first love. Yeah. I, I, I know tests and trials can weigh you down yeah. to where you don't even want it. You can't even pray. All you yeah. do is say, Jesus. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Walk yeah. with you. Jesus. 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 I'm talking about it'll make you turn on yeah. God. Yeah. It'll make you turn on God. But that's why you want to come to the house of God on Wednesday night Bible study. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Somebody come on. wouldn't even came to make it. You'd have known it was me preaching. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. yeah. You don't come. Your pastor ain't here. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on. Somebody, ooh, that's her. Yeah. You don't know who God's gonna use. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come that. out, come out. God said, Bow my spirit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We want people to change, but you gotta start to be the change. Yeah. You're not in your word. Mm, all come right. On, you don't live it. Oh, and you've got some more than you read the gospel. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When you hear that foolishness, you know what you ought to say? Let's pray. Yeah. Let's pray for them. Oh, they're doing nothing. Let's pray for them. Because guess what? What did you do? Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Come Amen. back to your first love. Uh -huh. Come back to your first love. That's how we're going to save our children. That's how we're going to save our city. That's how we're going to save our churches. And first, you got to look at yourself. You're so busy looking at everybody else, but God said, you're in the mirror. Come on. But there are some things that you're not doing right yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. It is time to speak truth. And I'm telling you right now, the joy, the joy of the love should be some kind of evidence that God has touched you. One touch, one touch, one touch, one touch. That's all it takes. And I'm a believer in that because I know it touched me. All right. One touch. It's time to restore the church. That's why Pastor saw fit to do a revival because he's looking at it. Let me tell you what happens to Oh, boy, I can't do this like this. Let me tell you what really happens. We take pastors and, and y'all dream them, y'all dream them, y'all dream them. So you gotta come up here and preach you happy and preach you joy and preach you this. And yeah, preach yeah. You when you're not supposed to do that, you're supposed to be at home in the word, uh -huh. studying the word, teaching uh -huh. the children the word. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. You're not come doing on. your part, church. Uh -huh. That's why pastors are burnt out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Try to figure yeah. out what can we do to get them to even give. Yeah. Most of the time, God says that I give your power. Yeah. You're cursed with a curse. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every time I do not pay my tithes, I notice I go through more and more and more. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm trying to so what you're trying to do, that's what you're just putting in holes in your pocket. Holes in your pocket. Hey. You said, well, a man robbed God, you have. Yeah. Amen. Quick, quick, quick. I know like someone you don't give. Uh -huh. You know, Pastor, right? Look like he be well off. They got nothing to do with you. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. You and your God. How do yeah. you do it? Yeah. We got a church that's unchurched. Yeah. You don't know protocol. You do what you want. Say what you want to a man or woman of God. How dare you? It's about honor and integrity. You have forgotten the oracles of God. Yeah. And if you wonder why we got the problem we got, we have a loneliness society. But God said, just when we get in the house of God, that's what he's doing right now if you don't know it. You don't understand what's seeing. Amen. That's uh -huh. right. And guess what? I bet every last one of you going through 
do a test right now. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a hard test. I'm talking yeah, about yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. you want to just give up, huh? Yeah. That's your test. Mm. That's your test. Are you going to give up, compromise? Are you going to quit what you're going to do? Because maybe God's trying to get you to change. Maybe God's trying to get you to pray more. Maybe God's trying to get you to fast. Come on, yeah. somebody. But some of you, you're stuck in your ways. Oh, I'm, I'm not just stuck in my ways. Keep on being stuck in your ways. And guess what? Some of y'all that say, Lord, Lord, you will not see the kingdom of God. I get tired of these people, especially on Facebook. Turn around seven times, you're going to get blessed, and you're going to go see God. That's yeah, yeah. That's a lie. Because let me That's tell you a lie. You can't even get blessed if you ain't living a righteous life. Mocked. God is not going to be marked. But I'll tell you one thing too. A lot of you want to know how to get out of sin. How do you get out of sin, Apostle? How do you get out of sin? You get in that book. And you get down on your knees and you say, God, God, I need you. I can't do this without you. God, I, I tried it again. I tried men. I tried women for some of you. Oh, come on, somebody. So I, I tried alcohol. I tried drugs. I, I, I need you. Yeah. I need you. Oh. And when you get tired of being tired, that's when God, he'll move. I, I stayed on drugs so long, I was an undercover. A lot of people say, Dion, I, I didn't even know. I said, I knew. And my family knew. And, and I, was, I was kind of mad. I said, God, why it took so long? He said, because I knew you really weren't um, trying to stop. He said, well, uh -huh. I, I saw that you was really ready. Yeah. That you yeah. was ready. Yeah. Some of you are doing the same thing. You, you really trying. I mean, you really want to get free of what you're doing. But yeah. You just don't know how. I'm going to tell you how. First, ask yourself this one question and be real with yourself. Do I still want it? Because okay. some of you still want what you want. That's why you're doing what you do. Oh, come on, somebody. And that's why you ask this spirit before God. But you can get out of it. Yes, Lord. You come back to your first love. Amen. We're all in here for a reason. Amen. Because we love the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Are we perfect? No. But we strive into our perfection. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. So when I see you, I'm supposed to say, if I see you on your step, I encourage you, my brother. Let me pray with you. Now, I'm going to tell you I'm going to pray for you. Forget. I might start cooking or doing something else. Yeah, oh, yeah, dog, yeah. Pray for them right there. You don't know that they last hour on earth. Yeah. Come on. You have to things in church. Yeah. And you don't want to give. Talk about, I just can't afford to. But you're looking good all over. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Come in your pocket now. I don't know. Yeah. Give God his. Come on. Will yes, he will. Yes, he will. God will bless you. Yes. What am I saying? It's time for you to get out of your ways. Yes. You know, people say Abbeville and people, well, oh, that's a crazy little town. Oh, that, that's a killing town. We got people talking about us. Oh, come on, somebody. They talk about everybody. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that it starts at the church. It starts in the church, with the church. When you leave here, Monday through Saturday, you're supposed to be witnessing to someone. Amen. On the job. Amen. At the gas station. Wherever. But I'm going to tell you Wherever you are. Thing. Because you are the spirit of God. Uh huh. Okay, so right there goes. Come on. See, evil and good can't dwell in one body. Uh -uh. Some of you want to be good. But yes. Once you go home, you're doing some other stuff. Uh oh. So no, you can't minister to nobody. Uh huh. So God say, return to your first love. Because when you remember when God first saved you, you know you was happy. Yeah, yeah. Come you, on. I mean, yeah. you, you, you was gonna do it. everything God said to do. Yes, Lord. You had it in your heart. Yes. But you know you gotta know what you gotta to dangle that carrot. To dangle that carrot. To dangle that carrot. So what am I saying? If you don't deal with the lust inside of you, it's gonna deal with you. All right? Come on, somebody. Come back to your first love. God said he's trying to empower his church again. The power of God is real. I've seen three miracles in my life in one day, and I'm not kidding. When I tell people that, they say, uh, 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 uh. the reason why the church have not seen miracles is because first you gotta be holy. Oh, yeah. We don't have a holy church. No, we got a problem in church. That's against each other. That's jealous of each other. They don't want to help each other. No, this one husband, just because you ain't got no husband. Come on, somebody. God, I'm next. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some spirits here in this time. Oh, and actually, it's in the church. Some of you are adulterous. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Some of you are fornicators. And you hide and slip and slide like God don't see. Oh, come on, somebody. Come back to me. Come on, somebody. 
Come back to your first love. God is literally begging his church right now. Come back to your first love. And then we can impact a city, a nation. Come on, somebody. But you got to first stop with you. But then we also have that spirit. You don't want nobody to tell you that. Especially if they got a little money. Uh oh. That's the only time y'all want to listen. They drive a nice car. We're in a town to where the drug dealer get more established than the man of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Now we build your house. But we'll give a man God for trying. Amen. And I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. When I came back, I couldn't see. see when, when, I, when I left, I, I had too much problems. But now I see. And I say, God, I see the young men and the young women walking around so angry, Brother Media. And I say, God, what is this? What is this spirit? And you say, it's in the adults too. Y'all don't know how to pray. So I, I, I tell you, you gotta come back to the oracles of God. I got some scriptures that I have to read. Praise God, praise God. I went an entirely different way. I want to be real with y'all. I, I had a whole, a whole, whole sermon. God went Let the Holy, 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 Holy Spirit use, use you. I mean, Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 11. Restore, I pray you, to them, even this day. But and their vineyards, their olive gourds, and their houses. Also the hundred part of the money and of the corn, the wine, and the oil that you exact of them. And God told me, He said, the reason why the church, because you got broken people trying to fix broken people. Some of you in positions broken. I don't know why you just don't come on and tell the pastor, Pastor, I ain't ready for this. Come on. Come on. We gotta come back to being honest with ourselves. Amen. You gotta stop lying to yourself. Amen. Amen. That's how we're gonna get here. God says, only in the midst of the anointing, healing, and deliverance. The power of God was so heavy in here, but it didn't stay. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm sorry. Come on, man. And, 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 and it happens all the time. Yes, yeah. But that lets me know that somebody in here, your mind is somewhere else. Because he says, where well, the spirit of the Lord is liberty. Sometimes it's so heavy up in here, I'm asking myself, God, what is this spirit? Yeah. Empty of yourselves, God says, it's time. Yes, it Lord. shouldn't be this heavy in any church. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why you, come on, you know what I'm talking about. That's why you be playing the way you play. I see you. You put it all in you. And God loves you, man of God, because you have that great yeah. spirit, and you want to allow Hallelujah. But it Amen. Yeah. But we have a church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Come back to your first time. Amen. Come back to you. You know right and right. Nobody got to tell you. No. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to stay before you long because I, I, I just, I, I do what God said. I, I'm out. Amen. Yes. Amen. I want you to know. I love you. So I'm going to tell you the truth. Yes. Now you got to start holding each other accountable That's too. That's right. Yes. Some of y'all see people doing stuff and instead of telling them and going to them, y'all. Y'all talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just told the young man. You Touch, Lord. Young yeah. woman, you don't have to do it that way. Touch, so, so Lord. Like, do it this way. You got to love people back to life by telling them the truth. Amen. So God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for allowing me. Yes, Jesus. To just preach before you the word Thank of you, God Lord. And the spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. God bless. God bless you. God bless. Thank you, Jesus. Good word, good word. Preacher, do you know that song, Take Me Back When I First Knew You? 